Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We're here in the Glitz Pit. The, uh, Wrestling League. That's gonna get us to the top so we can get the next Crystal Star. We're still here in the Minor League, so let's go check our rankings. We're, uh, number 16, and next up is Spike Storm and the Handed Over is a Mind Bog Ways. Alright. Well, uh, let's just keep going on with the matches and, uh, work our way up. Hey, Gray Gonzalez, look at me. I'm in a Game Boy Advance. Isn't that nuts? Alright, don't use items for this one. I think that's kind of simple. Makes sense. However, the spike... Yeah, I'm definitely going to use coops for this. That'll definitely help me out through this match. Alright. Let's go. It's time for glory. It's time to take out the spiky boys. And one cloudy fellow. <laughs> Saying that with a smile just... <laughs> It's so merciless. Alright, let's do it! So no items. No items whatsoever. One of them's got an, an electricity thing. So, first off, Quake Hammer. Let's take out both these guys at once. There we go. Oh, and then Koops can follow up with a power shell. I was about to say, if you're getting rid of them immediately, I don't think you gave Koops anything to do. Yeah! Ha! Whoa! Oh my god! Uh... Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... Oops. Well? <laughs> okay. Uh, Goombella, how about you help me out here? <laughs> Can't really do much now. That is actually hilarious. Five HP, he's, wow. He's cheating the system! Oh, I should have killed the Lakitu first. Oh, that's... That's good to know now. Aha! Oh my god, where is this amazing gamer prowess coming from? Uh, can't use hammer, can't use items. <laughs> can't use item. Fuck it, let's use Earth Tremor! Okay. Why the fuck not? I'm glad this doesn't count as an item. I got a feeling that uh, most of these challenges are literal. Like when he says, uh, you know, don't use special moves, that doesn't mean, um, oh shit. Hope that's enough. I don't think he means like the flower power moves. Ah, dang. But wait. Save and it! And boom! Yeah! Oh, I just noticed Luigi in the crowd. <laughs> I am also here. Luigi. And they're getting tougher, these matches. You know, I don't think Sad Luigi will ever not be funny. <laughs> Just being the background guy of every Mario game. Oh, wow. Five points. Except, except when he's in his own game. Well, even in his own game, he's cowardice and terrified and pissing himself and crying and... Ooh. Oh. Hot dog with egg? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and rest up first. Thanks for giving us the free bed, so that way we can just, you know, heal everything and just go all out with every fight. It's always nice. Well, we gotta yeah. make it fair, because the next fight you can't jump. He could say that. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's make the most implausible fight imaginable. Just a little dash of can't jump, mixed with a little bit of no items and no uh, flower power. I don't know why I went the long way around. Well, it's the scenic route. 
Hmm. Hello, Miss Mouse. Wait, where's the crowd? They dispersed. I think they're all in the stadium watching the next fight. They're not watching all of my fights? What the? Uh, okay. Let's let's get the egg. It. What? Uh, Break it. Break it. I know you want to. Break what, it. What? Break it. I, I, I'm trying. Get, it. Can't make another one. I'm bringing a few eggs. Hot dog. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I'm talking to the toad behind him. <laughs> I meant to talk to him. So it made its way on top of the hot dog stand. I wonder how we're supposed to get it now. Aw, oh, they actually used the bad egg line. Well, let's go get it! By the way, does anybody in the audience see the issue with a pig serving hot dogs? They're beef hot dogs. Oh. Maybe one of those lovely turkey dogs? Oh, yeah. Or, better yet, vegan. It's made out of walnuts and plants. <laughs> that is the happiest chomp I've ever seen. All right, who are you? Hmm. <laughs> ah, let's help him out. Let there be hot dogs! Hey, yeah, you'd be surprised. Hey, sure, let's just take the egg with, uh, with us, you know. We played Pokemon before, we always take an egg with us and carry it around, and who knows what'll, what'll hatch, you know? Okay. This is one of those 4,000 oh. step eggs. But We got an email! Man! So much happening out here. Have you seen my egg? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, it's just Rogue Port mail. Rogue Port today. Old Toad, uh, old Toad settles in. Has come to light that after settling into life at our inn, Toadsworth H60 has often been spotted in the company of Zesty H55. Ooh, the notoriously finicky Zesty surprised all when she was heard saying, "What's wrong with spending time with my little Total Toes?" The possibilities that. Such a comment opens as our eyes and ears go to the situation. Shop reporters go! Pungeon's great tree shop. Pungeon's easygoing management philosophy is money and girls are fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know? He fully understands why his shop isn't busier, too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. He even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shot points! Cooking for rookies! Today's yummy recipe is spicy soup. Steep a fire flour in hot water, and presto, you're done! The perfect first meal to, for kids to cook. <laughs> Issue 3 coming soon. That was useless flavor text, all right! Toadsworth, my man! It also uh, mentions that, you know, the hidden shop is in the great tree if you didn't find it before. Right, right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to our next fight now. Wow, I I realized that Rogue'sport really does corrupt the good people. So next up is the Handed Overs. Probably a bunch of thieves. They're gonna steal the egg. No items on this one either. I found out that all these stipulations that he gives you are indeed random. Oh, really? That didn't work. So the egg stays here and waits. And it's time for the next match with four bandits! Oh, fuck!
The Grim Death Burglars. <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds like a fan fiction gone wrong. This battle is just plain awful. In fact, I don't think it makes much sense. So, no items. And take them out. Well, first things first, Quake Hammer. hi -ya! Let's see if uh, Goombella can't tell us something. God, I hated these guys in Yoshi's Island. I know, right? Annoying. They grab coins from you. Hand it over. Oh, wow. They change their face when you get a perfect guard? Duh! Well, that wasn't a perfect guard. Duh, and that wasn't a perfect guard. Dude. Duh, it was! <laughs> Duh, but that wasn't. God, they're taking five at a time! I think. Dude! Shit. What are you doing? Uh, die! Damn it! You're panicking! Uh, I am panicking! They're taking my hard earned money! And now it's gonna be gone forever if you don't kill them now! Eight! Eight! Jesus! Alright, well, I think if I just have. Alright, it's Goombella's turn to attack now. So I gotta do- WAIT! WHAT?! No! no! D where are you go- FUCK OFF! WHAT?! And then there was one. I... <sighs> Alright! Hey, wait a minute, doesn't that mean technically they forfeit? Yeah! In fact, we beat- we destroyed just one of them! With fewer coins and fewer EXP points. But they're all knocked out! H how- this, this is just a scheme to get rich! Steal the guy's coins and then run away! So they pocket all of the- all the winnings for themselves! Here you go, a nice five or four- oh, six?! Oh, six or- ooh! Big fucking deal. I can just see Great Gonzalez just starts kicking lockers and it's like, if I find the guys who stole my money, a stunning babe. King K rule? No, it's a King K turtle. Actually, no, wait. King K. Oop. Uh. <laughs> that just makes it sound like he constantly drops things. <laughs> King K. Oop! Oop! Ah, oop! Ah. But he does, like, a little juggling act every time he accidentally drops something. You know, it goes from one hand to the other. Up, 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 up! And then he eventually catches it. Yeah! Well, let's go check out... The uh Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Alright! Sure, why not? My watering hole, I assume they mean the juice bar. Oh, hi. Prince Mush, the first champion of Glitz Pit. Hmm. Is that all you had to say? What about you, old timer? I used to fight in the tournament! <laughs> he's Prince Mush, isn't he? She is like a ravishing rose. Man, you creepo. Like, is there anything on her? And now we need to turn this episode into a noir. Just, just in wash, the out, wash out the color. I went and asked the Coop, the uh, Lakitu lady, if, if she knew anything, and apparently she knew that this rock hawk is one awesome dude. Of all the juice boys in all the world, 
I had to walk into this one. And can we get a little smoke effect happening? Oh, wait, no, we're outside. <laughs> <laughs> never, never mind. <laughs> That'll work. Um, anyway, back to your regularly scheduled fight gauntlet. Do you think we should name the egg? Hmm. Anyway, on to our next fight. I can't wait until the egg just sprouts legs and then we can call him Sheldon. Alright, next up is the Mind Bogglers. Are we gonna get, like, charm spells and shit? Surprisingly, it's an Abracadabra and an Alakazam. And a uh, Goldeen, for some reason. There always has to be just a random Goldeen. And you, ha you gotta wonder why the Goldeen's there. It'll boggle your mind! Haha! <laughs> You know, maybe it's just a bunch of people from Bogley Woods. <laughs> well, a, a tribe of poonies that came and split off. Uh, oh, well, I was hey, close. You were right. They are from the I was close. Bogley Woods. Bogley. Let's do it! The roar of the crowd. Oh, wow. They're all piranhas. So, so no special moves. That's okay, because we're still building up some star power. So instead, I'll, uh, I think we can... It's not going to be that helpful. Well, let's use this. Yeah! Gumbel is free to attack the cloud. Uh, yeah. Leaving only the Piter. Out. Ah. Uh, hey! Hmm. <gasps> I did oh it! Oh my god! Yeah! One more person showed up. Well, I mean, all the seats are filled. I, I assume. It's either that or th this is the one piranha who came in during intermission. <laughs> Sorry, the line of the bathroom was really... It was nuts! So, yeah, that's pretty easy, right? You know, what happens if we run out of Mario enemies to fight? Do we have to go to, like, Behold, the Carpenters! Behold, a really menacing-looking melon. Behold, one of the Piantas you've already talked to. Behold, an enemy from Streets of Rage. Behold, Mayor Mike Hagger! Uh-oh. Behold, Culex! Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> no! Behold! Sephiroth's hair! So King K is gonna be retiring. Because he realizes that, you know, living life in the Barbarian Pit arena probably isn't the best way to spend your life, and he's getting older, he's still in the minor lake, so he's gonna retire after this match. And he will be removed from the rankings. Ready to put somebody out of retirement? The punk rocks! Oh, great. Oh. Nah. <laughs> okay, use at least one special one move. One special move. Give All the right. crowd a show. Yeah. Alright. Let's blow the roof off. I'm starting to think of a move set for that egg, and I don't know if that leads to my creativity or just something I want to see happen. An the egg so strong you can swap. drop kick it. Mm. 
Well, we all know that egg's gonna hatch, but uh, I think you'll enjoy what comes out. Okay. Right, use a special move at least once. Uh, we, that could be anything from Sweet Treat to Earth Tremor to the third one we have, Clock Out. So, uh, hmm, appeal it. Uh, I'll appeal so we can build up some things for that because I think that's the only way we're going to take care of these things because their defense is probably way too high for us to do any lasting damage. So that's a hyper bald cleft. Yeah, defense, defense is two. two. So uh, we really can't do much damage to him even with uh, our powered up friends. Whoa! Did I see boost attack to eight? Uh huh. This thing is going to hurt. Oh, no! Oh, boy! We gotta do something fast! Oh, 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 God. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, dude. I need you to use a move next turn. Alright. Okay. So, let's go with Earth Tremor, then. And it has to be effective. Yeah, we we gotta have the timing right. Let's do it. Can my... Can my 20-year-old controller... With a HDMI <laughs> passing through a composite. Can, can I have the timing just right on my 4K TV? I can, I, all right, it's good. Oh, 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 oh no, no. But that's enough. You got lucky, because that was just enough hit points. Now they had, they had three HP. We did. We, we could have messed up a lot earlier. Okay. Hey, seven coins. Here's your flight money. Now get out of here. So when do we have to throw a fight to make sure that Rock Hawk doesn't lose his throne? So you're, uh, look, you're cycling through all the cliches, because this is basically Paper Mario, the tournament arc. But, there's going to be some twists and turns that you might not expect. It may be some that you might, but, you know. So number 11 is the bob -omb Squad. Avoid switching partners out. So whoever we come in with is whoever stays, which... Hasn't really been that much of a problem yet. We'll stick with Goombella then because she has the most HP. She can hang around the longest. Ah! You didn't want to bring in Flurry to blow out the fuses? Now that would be something. You know, I just thought about something. How do the bombs unexplode themselves? Is it like a Voltorb Electrode kind of thing? It's kind of like respawning, we'll say. Because that's got to be, like, either extremely painful or, like, I, I don't know. It would have to be painful, right? Like, blowing yourself up and then coming back and just be like, hey, I'm okay. Well, you know how, like, creepers blow up but still kind of come back? It's kind of, you know, it's sort of like that. Well, I just thought it's because there's... They 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 brought in a lot of creepers from off land to try and you know breed and get rid of the pigs. Hey hey, I don't think you need to try and explain to a bomb how to explode, okay? Yeah, well, yeah. they're good. They're good at it. They're bombs. It's what they do. Okay, so you can't attack it at all. All right, let's uh, try. Yeah. Oh, nothing doesn't really help me that much. Let's just go with Quick Hammer then. Might as well YOLO with the hammer. Because they're. Uh, yep. They're oh, gonna be mad. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh my oh, boy. God. Oh boy, you're fast. Going to lose Goomba. Huh. Not you? so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you played with fire. Look where I got you. I play with bombs. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I like to think that after they explode, because their bodies are still there, they're very confused as to what happened. Yes, I, I put someone else in front of me that takes all the blows, and I get paid for it. 
Yeah, yeah, you meat shielded Gubella, how dare you? Oh, King K is retired. <laughs> man, man, he was cool. I'll miss him. But there's I, someone I... to take his place. Oh, Sir Swoop. Going to the, the same shtick that we did. You know what? We've still got a lot of unique characters coming in. I can't believe they actually added a bob -omb that had a verbal tick. <laughs> tick, 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 boom. So, Sir Swoop, who do you want your first opponent to be? He just points at us. Oh. I want the big one. Looks like Sir Swoop is going to take on the Goomba Brothers. Our first match. The Glass Joe of the League. I wonder what happened to the guy, the one guy that Glass Joe beat. He beat himself. <laughs> Glass Joe inflicted with confusion. He hurt himself in confusion. Ooh, that was a knockout. If he knocks himself out, that's both a loss for him and a win for him. Well, I find it interesting that in the Wii Punch-Out, he actually does become more difficult in the uh, Advanced Leagues. And if you lose to him, it does update the rankings. It's no longer 99-1, to it's 99-2. to then, that, then they call him by his new nickname, Tempered Glass Joe. At first, he was just like Glass Joe and then Tempered Glass, and you know, if he gets enough training in, he can become Plexiglass Joe. But then he trips on his shoelaces and breaks his jaw, so then mm. they have to call him Fiberglass Joe. God, can you imagine the bloody scene there? He'd be Stained Glass Joe. <laughs> Then he really <gasps> starts to lose. But hey, we are now 11th. We have a shot to get into the Major Leagues. Finally. The Armored Hair... Oh, no. Armored. Fuck. And no items. Let me see it. You betcha I'm fixing for a fight. We win this match. We're in the major leagues. Excellent. But no jumping. Oh, well, that's no problem. That's okay because I'm pretty sure that we're only going to be able to use hammer against these guys anyway. You didn't say anything about Goombella not being able to jump, though. <laughs> the screen comes back on. And by the way, no partners either. No, oh, come on! This one's an important battle, not just uh, a filler in between. He's coming to the major leagues. Oh my god, we have fans. <laughs> Itching to mix it up. Blech. Oh, God! Yeah, I knew they had spikes, too. So, Goobella can't attack, either. Uh-oh. Sweet. Well, maybe we can just carry this on Mario's hammer alone. <clears throat> hey, wait a minute. So much trash talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. He's gonna get angry and attack us. 
They're calling us stink wads. That's so hurtful. I just realized they have Mario and Luigi shoes. Where's their game? Uh, unfortunately, Stinkwad's actually caught on, so... Super we can't... Stinkwad Brothers. Uh, we can't have negative connotations in games anymore. Well, I guess you would call this a boss, because it is pretty important, so... Hey! Let's do it! You gotta do something, right? Alright, well... Um... Why don't we start with Quake Hammer, and kind of gauge what we can do with that. Oh, crap. Hmm. Alright, Goombella, uh, maybe you can help us out a little bit here. And this was the moment where he realized... He screwed up. HP6, attack force if... UNKNOWN?! <laughs> Whoa! No attack will work. Why are they number 10? No single attack with work, unless if you throw one into the other. So, run away, huh? Why would the, why would we want to do... Oh. Ah. Uh, that... Block it, dude! Yeah. Come on! Yeah. B maybe we can... I... T no. I refuse to believe it! We gotta do something, right? No, it really is infinite HP! Or inf inf infinite defense! Yeah. Block it, dude! Oh god, oh boy, oh no. Block it! Well, the game literally told us to run away, so... This is a plot point? Oh, man. Our first loss. Well, we still get fight money, but it's just one measly coin. And our ranking is still at 11. Well, at least we don't go back down to the bottom. Damn, what do we do? Oh, yeah. Where is the egg? I almost forgot about him. That's where this guy came from! Yep! We get a Yoshi partner. Dude! And he has hair! That's strange. So there are several different colors to this Yoshi. Oh, really? Uh, I forget what, uh... Like, const constitutes... Like Let's see. I, I I think it's based on how much time between you when you get the egg and when it hatches, and it can, it can be red, green, red, blue, orange, pink, black, or white. But here we Whoa. can go ahead and name our Yoshi, and I'm gonna go with his traditional name. There, perfect. Yoshi! Yoshi. <laughs> so that's his name. Yoshi! Cool. Oh, man. He's a punk. I love it. Ta-da! Yoshi answers to Yoshi. So here's a primer. You can ride around on this little guy! What? But he's so tiny! He's fast, too. Ah! <laughs> That's great! We can't jump, but we can, like, hover. Uh, 
Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, of course. Aha! Uh -huh. That's right. We're gonna use this Yoshi. Oh, he's so fast! Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So fast. So if you can't guess, we're gonna use this Yoshi yeah. to defeat the Armored Harriers. <laughs> but we're gonna save that for next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We'll be making our way into the major leagues. See you next time. Unfortunately, the next fight, the condition is no using partners. Oh,